What a dumb. Hello, Professor. Got a light, short, white, and gruesome. Do I know you? I'm Mona Lotta. I'm new in town. I know you from your talkative friend, Mr. Fitzgerald. Who is supposed to meet me, but he's late, as usual. And you know, time is money. Ah, yes. I've heard that. I should warn you that you shouldn't be in this unseemly neighborhood alone. By yourself. Alone. Without anybody. Alone. These dangerous back alleys and park bushes are full of unsavory characters, like Mr. Fitzgerald. Funny how he never mentioned you or this place, especially since his mother doesn't let him cross the street without holding his hand. I'm looking for Mr. Fitzgerald myself to keep him out of trouble, and to make sure everything goes right for his promising attempt at a record for the world's longest nose hairs. I'm his trainer and his manager. I'm tired. Are we going to keep talking or are we going to get down to business? Just so you know, if you find your little friend, it is Wednesday. Happy Hump Day, two for one special. So far, haven't made a dime. Especially not since the crash. Especially in this damn park. Ah. <sighs> I'm not used to being out of bed and standing for this long. I'm getting a headache. And you're not helping. How about three dollars for an hour of fun? That way I won't be alone. It'll just seem that way. That's a great offer! And a good joke! Me! Being a gigolo. I wouldn't feel right taking any of your money. What with so many people standing in the bread line? Although, the idea of playing nickel cards for the other 59 minutes does sound like a hoot. What's the matter? You see Fitzgerald? How's his nose hairs look? I'm keeping an eye out for cops. Hops? Well, I'm here to keep an eye out for you. What's a nice girl like you worrying about cops for? It's not like you killed a guy, right? Hey, I say he fell into his knife seven times by accident. You play, you pay. Or ex -nay. All this conversation's taken a nasty turn I didn't see coming. You, Mona Lotta, a murderous whore, a venomous vamp with ice water going through your veins, a torturous trollop without a conscience, a cagey call girl with the wrong number, a trumpet, Strumpet. A lord, lady of the evening, who won't let men see the light of day. A salacious streetwalker. A hooker. A common crab cooker. I hadn't heard that one. 
I prefer representative district manager in the world's oldest profession. Yeah. It's all starting to make sense. I wondered why Mr. Fitzgerald's medical referrals would show up for their physical exams already undressed. Just as a matter of curiosity, if I were to take you up on your offer, what exactly would you do? I mean, what's on the menu? Ah, yes. The reverse cowpoke. Would that be you or me in the side saddle? Ah, does that come with the undulating vacuum air compressor? Ah, does the monkey come with his own tutu? Now that's a physical impossibility. I should know. I'm a doctor. Being double jointed really helps. Uh, oh. oh God! I've got to get out of here. What is it? The cops? Worse! It's Mr. Fitzgerald. I don't think he see me. Here's a dollar. We haven't met. You don't know me. You know, for another dollar, I'll give him the happy hum day special until it looks like he died of natural causes. Absolutely not. Uh, I wouldn't be involved with anything that perverted. I have my reputation to think of. What a way to go. What a schmuck. They fall for it every time. Ah, hell, it really is Fitzgerald. It looks like he snorted a squirrel up his nose. <sighs> Times like these, I realize prison really wasn't so bad. <laughs>